The Dominion of Dragons update just came out a few days ago, and this is the biggest and most ambitious update ever in Empires and Puzzles. And on this occasion, we will discuss and see what the Dominion of Dragons updates are in Beta version 67. We will look at every feature available, types of resources, wanted chests and missions, every existing building, and playing mechanics in Dominion of Dragons. Without further ado, let's start the discussion. After the Dragon update appears on the original server, we will expect a button that says Dragon Spire on our original base. And this button directs players to the Dragon base, which is a stronghold called Dragon Spire. And once in the Dragon base, players will see energy and resources that can be used, for example. To play in campaign mode, players will use a certain amount of Dragon World energy to be able to play in every stage, in every area in the campaign. And players use Dragon Raid energy to be able to do Dragon Raid battles, or play in raid mode against players just like we usually do in the original base. Next, players will be shown three types of resources in the Dragon base. The first is Fish. This will be mainly used to train and level up dragons. And second is Dragonstone, which is a resource mainly used to construct and upgrade buildings in the Dragon base. And third is Dragonlings, which is a resource whose function is the same as recruits in the original base, which are usually used to train new dragons in the hatchery. And a little more, the function of gems will remain the same in both bases, such as buying energy, battle items, resources, summoning heroes or dragons in portals, speeding up waiting time and so on. Overall, the function of energy and resources in the dragon base and the original base have similar functions, they only differ in name. This is different from the original base where there are missions for wanted chest monsters, heroes, and titans. Currently in dragon base there are only two types of wanted chests, namely wanted chests whose mission is to defeat monsters in campaign mode, and the second, whose mission is to defeat dragons in raid mode. And to complete this wanted chest mission, players only need to play and defeat a number of monsters and dragons according to the request of each chest. The rewards in each dragon wanted chest are also not much different from the wanted chests in the original base, where players can get gems, dragons ascension materials, crafting materials, and resources. I think you already understand, and don't need further explanation or guidance regarding this, because the mechanism is the same as the wanted chest in the original base. In essence, the Dragon's Wanted Chest mission can only be completed at the Dragon base, as well as the Hero's Wanted Chest mission which can only be completed at the original base. And in the Dragon base, there are several buildings, most of which have the same type and function as the buildings in the original base. The first building is Dragon Spire, where this building is the base of operations for Dragon Empire, where the main function of this building is to allow players to unlock more areas, buildings, and also determine the maximum level limit for upgrading buildings. A similar building also exists in the original base, namely Stronghold. Next, there is Dragonspire Watchtower. The main function of this building is to store the resources, collected from captured dragon outposts, and a place to view your previous dragon raid locks. There is also a similar building at the original base, namely the Watchtower. Next is Dragonspire Storage-related buildings, where the main function of these buildings is as a storage place for resources and dragonlings in the dragon base. The first is Fish Storage, where the main function of this building is as a place to store fish resources. There are only three of these buildings in the dragon base. A similar type of building can also be found in the original base, namely Food Storage. The second is Dragonstone Storage, where the main function of this building is as a storage place for dragonstone resources. There are only three of these buildings in the Dragon Base. And a similar type of building can also be found in the original base, namely Iron Storage. The third is Egg Storage, where the main function of this building is as a storage place for Dragonlings. There are also only three of these buildings in the Dragon Base. And a similar type of building can also be found in the original base, namely the House. And the next type of building is Production-related buildings, where the main function of this building is to produce resources, such as fish and dragonstone. The first production building is the fishery. This is the building that produces fish. There are four of these buildings in the dragon base. And similar buildings can also be found at the original base, namely the farm. The second building is the quarry. This is the building that produces dragonstone. Unlike the fishery, there are only two quarries in the dragon base. Similar buildings can also be found in the original base, namely mine. And the next type of building is the hatchery. The main function of this building is as a place that allows dragonlings to be trained into dragons, 
where the higher the level of this building, you will be able to access more training options. There are only three of these buildings in the Dragon Base, and you can also find similar buildings at the original base, namely the Training Camp. And the last type of building is the Dragon Forge, where in this building you can use materials to craft into Dragon Battle items. The higher the level of this building, the more varied the battle items that can be crafted. There are only two types of these buildings in the Dragon Base, and a similar type of building can also be found in the original base, namely the Forge. And at Dragon Base there are also Summon Gates which are divided into two types, namely Silver Summon and Epic Dragon Summon, where for Silver Summon, players will use Silver Coins or Gems to Summon, and the percentage of getting a Legendary Dragon is 1%. And in Epic Dragon Summon, players can use Epic Dragon Tokens or Gems to Summon, and the percentage of getting a Legendary Dragon is 1.5%. And the number of Gems and Tokens or Coins consumed is still not final, because this information is still tentative, and could be very different from what will be launched on the original server. And in the Dragon Base, we will also get a campaign feature which is mechanically quite similar to the campaign in the original base. Where in the Dragon Base campaign mode, players can play using Dragon World Energy and Dragons, and the troops that the Dragons will use are the strongest heroes from each element of the original base. And every stage in this Dragon campaign mode is a special stage, which has certain battle conditions, such as Soothing Wind, Lightning Storm, and corrosive rain. Each of these stages can be completed like a campaign in general. It's just that, in this dragon campaign, there are special tiles which, if matched, will deal enormous destruction to multiple enemies. You could say that this tile will make it easier for players to complete this dragon campaign mode. And next, at the dragon base there is also a dragon raid feature. Here players will use dragon raid energy to play. And overall the Dragon Raid feature is very similar to Raid in the original base, judging from the types of tiles, as well as the playing mechanism. You could say there is nothing different apart from the characters used, namely the dragons. I think, overall, this Dragon's update marks a big change and will refresh the mood of veteran players like me, even though it could be said that the actual gameplay in this Dragon base is very similar to the original base, or it could even be said to be repetitive. However, this is still an update that causes quite a feeling of joy and anger among players. It cannot be denied that this new update is the biggest change that has ever occurred in Empires and Puzzles. In fact, quite a few players stated that it would be better for this Dominion of Dragons update to be made into a new game that is separate from Empires and Puzzles. But there are also players who say that this update is a fresh feature and will definitely attract other new players to download and play this game. Personally, because there's not much else I can do on the original base, because my campaign and buildings are all maxed out, I think I'm pretty ready to turn over a new leaf with this dragon update. But what do you think about this dragon update? Feel free to submit your questions or opinions in the comments section of this video. And we'll meet again in the next Empires and Puzzles video. Bye.